Hi guys, I want to do a video here showing you uh, ionic compounds and how they bond. So remember, ionic compounds is when you, that's only between a, a metal and a non-metal. And it's when they form ions. So in our periodic table, here's our, our periodic table, uh, we've been looking at T or uh, our alkalized or alkaline earth metals, families one and two. And then jumping over here, we had families three, four, five, six, seven were our halogens, and eight were our noble gases. And I want to remind you that within these uh, within these families, these numbers here actually represent how many electrons are in the outer orbit. So we know all our alkalis have one balance electron that's out of orbit. Our alkaline earth metals have two. Uh, in our noble gases, we have eight out of eight, except for neon, which is two out of two. Our halogens have seven out of eight. And uh, what happens in, uh, when they have one, two, and three, it's easier to lose them. And so for these ones here, when they lose their outer one, two, or three electrons, they become positively charged. They become cations. And for five, six, and seven, it's easier to get one, two, or three more electrons, so they get a negative charge. And those are anions. So our anions are here. These are our cations. And four is right in the middle here. So that's where they can either lose or gain. Sometimes they lose, sometimes they gain. It's either do the same. And of course, our noble gases are noble. They have a full outer orbit. They don't care. So uh, what happens is I, I've talked about uh, sodium in our alkaline metal family and in our halogens, I've talked about chlorine. Sodium has one in its outer orbit. Chlorine has seven. So what happens is we get an electron jumping over. Now sodium has a full outer orbit because it's back down to an eight out of eight. And chlorine now has eight out of eight as well. Sodium gets a plus one charge because it's lost one electron. Chlorine gets a negative one charge because it's lost one. And opposites attract because they are charged, they bond to each other, they create something new, and we get what's called sodium, the metal first. And instead of chlorine, it becomes chloride. We change the ending to I-D-E. And I've talked about this in my video. So I wanna go over that with you, uh, sort of how this happens. Uh, so let's try beryllium and fluorine. Now beryllium is in our second family. It's an uh, alkaline earth metal. So I'm just gonna put here, it's in, its, in the second family. And fluorine is one of our halogens. It's in the seventh family. So I'm gonna draw beryllium here. Uh, so here's, here's our beryllium atom. And I'm just gonna draw the outer orbit. It has two in its outer orbit. And we have fluorine. And in its outer orbit, it has seven. Now the reason I'm using X's and over here dots, is just to keep them uh, looking different. And here's what happens. Fluorine wants one extra atom, or sorry, one extra electron, so it'd have a full outer orbit. And beryllium has two out of eight in its outer orbit. It wants to lose those two. So it's gonna lose one to fluorine here. Now this fluorine is happy, it has eight out of eight but beryllium is still not happy. It still has one valence electron that it wants to get rid of. So enter into the equation here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, another fluorine atom. And beryllium is going to lose its outer orbit electron to that fluorine atom. And what we can see here is now, these two fluorine atoms are happy. They have eight out of eight outer orbit electrons, and beryllium is happy too. It's lost its two, so it's down to an eight out of eight in the previous orbit. And we have a new, whole new compound here. 
This is beryllium. I'm spelling this wrong. And instead of fluorine, it's fluoride. We've changed the ending. And its chemical equation is B F two. Subscript, it's not an exponent. One beryllium and two fluorines. For sodium chloride, it's one sodium, one chlorine. Now, uh, and it's only one of each because look at these match up. If I was to actually look at uh, beryllium here, because it's in the second family, when it loses its two outer orbit electrons, it becomes plus two in charge. And when fluorine gets its one, it gets a minus one charge. And remember, uh, these atoms are also gonna get, or these compounds are also gonna get back to neutrality. And we can see that if we put a beryllium and a fluorine together here, plus two and minus one, it's not neutral. And that's why we actually need two negative one fluorines to equal the plus two of the beryllium. I hope you're following along there. Let's do another example. Uh, let me try to think of it, find a, an easy example for you. Well, let's do uh, <laughs> let's do lithium and nitrogen. Now, lithium is in our second uh, family. It's an alkaline earth metal. So we know that it's going to, sorry, no, my bad. Lithium is a alkali. So we know that it has one valence electron. And we know that when it loses it, it's gonna get a charge of plus one. And we have nitrogen. Nitrogen is in our fifth family. So we know that when it gains three more electrons, that it's gonna have a minus three charge. And here's our nitrogen here. It has one, two, three, four, five in its outer orbit. It's in our fifth, the fifth family. So right away, some of you are already saying these numbers don't match up. And you're realizing that if we had three lithiums and one nitrogen, that we would have neutrality, right? Lithium, lithium, and lithium, which is a, a plus one, a plus one, and a plus one. And nitrogen, which is a minus three. This and this to bonded together will give us our neutrality. And that is the case. Uh, to show that to you in graphic form, this lithium here wants to get rid of one valence electron to be uh, happy. So, it sends it over here and it becomes plus one. Nitrogen ha now has six out of eight. It wants two more. So along comes another lithium with its one and it sends it over. And another lithium that's unhappy because it has one valence electron, but when it loses it to the nitrogen, it's happy. So we now have three happy lithiums one happy nitrogen, because they all have full outer orbits. We end up with lithium, not nitrogen, nitride, change into IDE. And our chemical formula here is L3N, lithium nitride. Three lithiums, one nitrogen. We have a neutral compound. So that's how it's done. I'll, uh, I'll send off a couple of these for you to practice and I hope you are understanding that.